What's going on, guys? So, cam links are going for like $300 right now. It's ridiculous. This pandemic has made everyone realize how important webcams really are. And I don't think we were prepared for that. So I've got my little Logitech um, 920 here and it's just not cutting it. So I found the way to make the Sony mirrorless cameras work as a webcam, no capture card, no cam link needed. All you need is, um, well, USB cable. I'm going to show you how to make it work in OBS so that you can then stream to the various platforms, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook gaming, no longer mixer. And I think you guys will be really happy with this. The quality is not quite the same, but it's very close. And I don't think anyone will have an issue when you're a little box in the corner. So let's get in and I'll show you some settings. I will show you how to set it up on OBS and get streaming. <laughs> All right, let's get this. Oh my God, I'm nice clipping idea. that. I have to. So what we want to do is we'll first flick on our cameras, head on into the menu, and we'll go up to the network tab, and you want to go down to control with smartphone. Make sure that's off. Otherwise, you'll get an error, and well, you won't be happy. <laughs> So then back out of there, and I believe that the Bluetooth settings also need to be set to off. Next, simply grab your USB cable, plug it in, stick it on a tripod, and you're good to go. So you'll want to go ahead and install the Imaging Edge desktop app. It's available from Sony. I'll have a link in the description. Once you've done that, Install all the components required to get you the remote app. Click start. It may give you an error if it does. Just press OK and a list will pop up. If it doesn't have your camera there, click refresh. If it does, double click it and it'll connect. Once it's connected, you'll see what your camera sees on screen. So here we can see my microphone. You can go ahead and minimize both those windows, but do not close them. Okay, so essentially, now that we've got our program open, our image capture program open, um, we'll just be going right into OBS. So here I've got, so here I've got Streamlabs, OBS, and I'm going to be just showing you quickly how to get your video from the program into Streamlabs so you can stream on Twitch, on YouTube, um, what was Mixer, I guess Facebook Gaming now. And yeah, it should be pretty easy. So first thing, you got your your scene, so your game or whatever in the back. So what we'll wanna do is we'll wanna click on the plus sign right here and we'll go game capture. So add source, add new source, we'll call it webcam, webcam and go specific window and then go and find remote. So remote.exe and there's my face. Go ahead and click done. You may find that when you first have it coming up, it's not gonna look exactly like this. Here we are. So you can actually crop. So for example, I'm going to crop the top just to get rid of these black bars. You can actually set your camera in just a photo mode and they get a much, much bigger image. But I'm recording this video, so in turn I had to use the video mode. Okay, and then there you go. You've got your fully movable window. You can boot up a game, doesn't matter. This can actually even be minimized. Whereas before I think that was something that you couldn't do. So, yeah, you can go ahead and stream your little heart away. One thing you'll probably notice is that your battery will start to go down while you're using this mode. Um, I've actually found a bit of a solution. Um, what I did was you simply, you've got it plugged in through USB already, so it is charging, but it's not charging very fast. 
Um, you it will be going down for the most part, but if you really drop your screen brightness on your camera, um, I actually found in some cases where I can still be charging and increasing in charge in percentage while it's streaming. So um, I was had it going for about four hours the other day and I went from 70% to about 90% over four hours. So it's using a lot, but it's it's maintainable and the other option is to get a wall adapter so I'll leave a link in the description for the wall adapter um, and also for this lens this is a manual lens but it gives you really nice depth of, depth of field and it, when you're streaming you're sitting still for the most part so hope you guys liked the video if you did go ahead like subscribe if you if you want um, it helps out a lot and catch you next time